everybody welcome back to my channel this is wardog sec back with another video for you guys today's video we are in try hack me sock level one cyber threat intelligence module this is the trooper room use cyber threat intelligence knowledge and skills to identify a threat based on a report now before you get into anything here be sure to start up the attack box as well as this vm in this machine because it does take a few minutes to start it says down here give it about seven minutes to fully load so just letting y'all know ahead of time. Anyway, hopefully y'all are ready to learn something today. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Task one, who is the threat? A multinational technology company has been the target of several cyber attacks in the past few months. Attackers have been successful in stealing sensitive intellectual property and causing disruptions to the company's operations. A threat advisor report about similar attacks has been shared in the CTI analyst, or as the CTI analyst, your task is to identify the tactics, techniques, and procedures, the TTPs, being used by the threat group and gather as much information as possible about their identity and motive. For this task, you will utilize the OpenCTI platform as well as MITRE Attack Navigator linked to the details below. So let's hide tools, start the virtual machine by clicking the green start machine button, which is this here. Like, like I said before, it takes about seven minutes to fully load. Use the credentials below to access the platforms via attack box or VPN to conduct your investigations. And here's the credentials here. Here's the links to the particular platforms we're going to be using, OpenCTI and Attack Navigator. And here's the APTX report that you're going to have to read through here in order to answer the questions down below. All right? It says report citation. Please note that the citation may contain spoilers about the contents of the challenge. Oh, I, uh, we're not going to look at this until we need it or if we need it at all but basically there's a bunch of questions down here that need to be answered and you're going to be using that report as well as those platforms in order to answer those questions so go ahead and try to answer these questions yourself then come back to the video and we will go through this process have fun hey everybody welcome back to my channel be sure to hit the like button comment and subscribe once you subscribe be sure to hit that notification bell all right so you know every time i post a new video as you can see here, most people that view my videos, view my channel, are not subscribed. Now, if you do subscribe, it will help me get into the YouTube algorithm so that we can continue to grow our glorious community here. As always, thank you all for taking the time to watch. Have a nice day and enjoy the video. Let's take a look at these questions. What kind of phishing campaign does APTX use as part of their TTP? So let's go reference this report here. As you're reading through the report, you can see that it says the group was reportedly using spear phishing emails with weaponized attachments to exploit known vulnerabilities. So that should be our answer there, spear phishing. Here we go. Next one says, what is the name of the malware used by APTX? So if you scroll down a little bit more, it says we found that APTX's latest activity center on targeting Taiwanese and Philippine militaries physically isolated networks through a USB ferry attack theme derived from a sample found in a related research. So USB ferry appears to be what the name is for that. So let's go and type that in there. There we go. And it says, what is the malware's sticks ID? So if it's not in this report here, then we will need to go and reference our tools here. So if we go and type USB Ferry in, see if anything comes up here, and I need to log in again. Okay, that's loading up. USB Ferry, here's a report, and there's also um, a malware entry here. As I said, there's uh, the report entries here, but the one we need to take a look at is malware entry, and then we'll, we'll need this sticks ID right here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this here. If it lets me, there we go. Copy this one, and then we're gonna plug it in as our answer. Next one says, with the use of a USB, what technique did APTX use for initial access? So once again, flip back over to our VM, Attack Navigator. Now you can use the Attack Navigator, you can just go to the MITRE website, which is what I'm used to going to. So I'm gonna use this. All right, so we get navigate to the enterprise, enterprise tactics here. There's initial access, so we're gonna click in here. And then we we'll hit Control F, and then it said air gap stuff. So let's do that. Air, there we go. Air gap networks. So 
this looks like what we're needing here, this T1091. Let's go ahead and copy that, plug it in as our answer. Um, okay, we need the, the entire thing here apparently. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay, like I said, you can also find it inside of this navigator too if you wanted to. It's right here, replication through removable media. And you can do uh, the find thing up here and just type in gapped, air gapped or whatever, and then it should highlight it. All right, so next question is, what is the identity of aptx? So once again, reference our platforms here. Now let's go back one. So it's already checked for the malware itself. Let's look at these reports here. And here's one that says Trend Micro, Tropic Trooper, May 2020. And this appears to be what it's called, Tropic Troopers back. So that should be what we're looking for here for this particular uh, group's name. So we're gonna highlight this. We're gonna copy it over, plug it in as our answer as well now you'll come across a multitude of tools like if you just want to google this like what is aptx okay maybe you'll find some other type of articles or something like that referencing it let's type in maybe hacker group see if that comes with anything here okay so there's other things that reference this particular um, apt group so aptx or apt10 and anyway so you get the gist of it. you can use multitude of tools but anyway let's go back and continue on to our questions here on OpenCTI, how many attack pattern techniques are associated with the apt so we need to get that one and then what is the name of the tool linked to the apt and then load up navigator what is the sub technique used by the apt under valid accounts we need to find the number of attack patterns. So go back to our OpenCTI dashboard here, type in Tropic Thunder, hit enter to search for it. And then we'll need to click on intrusion set here to pull up that information. We'll need to navigate over to knowledge. Once we're in knowledge, we'll see attack pattern. So 39 is gonna be our answer for that one. And the next one asked about the tool usage, I believe. So if we scroll over or look over into this right side here, we see arsenal see tools okay click on tools bits admin should be the answer for that one next one says to look into sub techniques and they're talking about which type of accounts they're using so if we go back to our navigator here scroll down here and we see valid accounts right so if we click on that it should bring up local accounts so that should be our answers there so if we go back here and plug those answers in how many attack pattern techniques associated with the APT? 39, as we just saw. What is the name of the tool linked to the APT? Bits admin, as we just saw. Load up navigator. What is the sub technique used by the APT under valid accounts? Well, we saw that in its local accounts. All right, next two are under what tactics does the technique fall? Um, what technique is the group known for using under the tactic collection? So let's go ahead and find those answers back on the MITRE attack website here and we're looking at valid accounts local accounts we need to get the tactics so if we look over here you can see tactics and these are the ones that we need here defense evasion persistence privilege escalation and initial access so we'll go ahead and highlight these copies over and paste as our answers now make sure this is in the correct order okay so you get you just can't copy and paste things over if it gets stuck click that hint order falls and attack chain so initial access persistence defense evasion and privilege escalation is what we're looking for there We'll take back over here. Last one says something about collection, and the only one highlighted in here is automated collection. So that's our last answer here. What technique is the group known for using under the tactic collection? Okay. You can also view inside of here, and let's say that you're on the local accounts, right? So if we go back to look for that information again, valid accounts. If you click on this here, local accounts, okay, it should, if it doesn't pop up over here, then um, you can just type it in local accounts and then under techniques, you can click view and it'll take you straight to the MITRE attack website with that particular information on it. And then you can see the same thing here, tactics, defense, evasion, persistence, privilege, escalation, and initial access. Now, once again, you have to put it in the correct order, otherwise um, the answer won't be correct. So that wraps up this video. 
And as we saw here, we went through the um, open CTI platform as well as MITRE TAC stuff. Combine those two to look through and gather some information about APTX. And then also we're able to provide some valuable intelligence, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Put that notification bell. Have a nice day, and I will see you later.